Senate Republicans say they have the votes to repeal the Affordable Care Act's individual mandate. The Obamacare law requires Americans to have health insurance or pay a penalty. The Senate Finance Committee plans to add the repeal to its tax reform bill, bill that would help pay for tax cuts. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with the newest GOP move on health care. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. This is something of a surprise move for Senate Republicans who initially said that tampering with Obamacare would only complicate the politics of tax reform. But they warmed up to the idea because repealing the individual mandate would reduce the deficit by more than $300 billion over 10 years. And that's money that they could then plow back in to middle class tax cuts. Uh, the move, however, does have some drawbacks. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the number of uninsured Americans would increase by 13 million by the year 2027. Last night, the Finance Committee Chairman Orrin Hatch released his new version of the tax plan, indicating that the child tax credit would now double from $1,000 to $2,000 instead of $1,650. And he further reduced rates slightly for three middle class tax brackets. This in response to criticism that the plan primarily benefits the wealthy. House Speaker Paul Ryan says that the House version of the plan will not include a repeal of the individual mandate. Their plan is simply too far along and they're hoping to hold a vote on it tomorrow. Nancy, thank you.